up, you guys? My name is Brandolyn. You got your boy Steve. Today we are currently at the Clinton Inn Hotel, built in the early 1901. You guys, we are currently coming back from a three-year break. We're coming back stronger than ever, so if you're new to our channel, hit that subscribe, smash that like, and let's get into this video. They actually kept a lot of it original, as you can see. They didn't really do much of a change. I mean, look at the old wallpaper and everything. It looks all over it. Old chandelier, chunk chandelier. This is actually supposed to be the coffee. We get coffee in the morning. Oh, I can't. I'm excited for that one. Yeah, they are. Nice uh, Somebody posted online, they actually never did a video here. They posted online pictures of ni in 1999 of um, orbs all around in there when they were doing like a baby shower or something. Look at all that. Hey guys, about every wall in this place almost has mirrors that don't have a door, obviously. It has mirrors on it. Upstairs has mirrors. You think they're portals? I mean, they do say you know, they can portals. Hey, uh, earlier, it's funny as hell. Franklin, she was looking through here, and she didn't know this was glass, man. You know what happened? Shut up. I was literally looking around because there's a door right there. But I guess they throw bridles here, so that might be where they go behind the curtain after they get married. They even got, like, look. I don't even know what that would be. It's like a... I don't know, it's like a, Maybe a doorbell to bell. the. Because it was oh, a buzzer for the buzzers. Because it was apartment. Yeah, years ago it was apartments. Did you hear that? So, so supposedly, guys, this place is haunted, and we are here to see if that is true or not. And we're the first ones here. We are the first ones here. I mean, Besides we're the about one hundred percent sure because. We I mean, we Googled everything that we could think of, and we cannot find no videos on this place at all. So, They're also doing construction and stuff upstairs. Yep. So not only are we on this adventure for the first time, but you guys are here with us, too. Look at this piano. Okay. A typewriter. Don't ask me. I was in violin. Orchestra, not band. <laughs> it's one of those instruments. Earlier, we were walking around to see what doors being open. Yeah. <laughs> um, some some spots they won't let us uh, in on here. Like this door is closed off. I was uh, earlier. I was messing around with the uh, EMF, uh, detector. EMF detector, and uh, I was getting right in the center of this room. I was getting. Uh, uh, the lights were going up to the orange, I believe it, I believe it was. Uh, yeah, it's pretty, uh, you got a bad feeling in this building all in all when you walk in there. Especially right here and upstairs. Upstairs you yeah, would be very, like, what the heck? Oh yeah, a it's bad totally vibe. totally different. Like, like uh, uh, we're gonna, you guys, we're going to make our way upstairs too. Uh, technically, there's only 
two stories to this. Uh, there's only three three available hotel rooms in this place, and they're on the second floor. There is a third floor, but it's uh, okay. now it's getting remodeled eventually here, so it's technically closed off. But we're gonna go check it out. They do have one other resident. I mean, not resident, because I work at as an aide. Um, they also have one other person staying here. So, so it's, a it's, it's because we're going past the room. But other than that, we're going to get down on some equipment upstairs eventually. And hopefully, we catch some stuff. This is the creepiest part right here. When you walk in for the first time, put it over, put it in the sand over, just right there. I mean, tell me that it's hey, just the creepiest vibe when you walk in, and that's the first thing. Can you actually see that on the camera? Mm -hmm. When you zoom in. Oh, earlier when we were going upstairs, um, we heard a big boom. Remember that? Upstairs? Yeah, no, when we, oh, when we were coming downstairs. And yeah. it sounded like literally almost, that the chair was being dragged. Yeah, almost like a, like a wooden chair being dragged. Tell you what, my hurt ball jumped out of my chest. Though. Mine too. Um, so uh, that's about everything down here except for the over here, you guys. I think that they, they do rent it out too. For know, bridal like, weddings, yeah, and weddings stuff. and stuff like that. It's like a little room. It's pretty cool. Look at the ceiling in there showing that. No addition. That's pretty neat. Yeah. Um, but other than that, we're gonna work our way up to the second floor. Sounds like a plan. And these um, stairways are really squeaky. Oh, that's a, that's this one, these ones aren't so bad. It looks like what the ladies used to wear back in their head, back then, in their head, the flowers. So, this one, uh, room number one, room number two, and room number eight. That are only ones up here that are livable right now. So room number eight is all the way down there to the left. Room number one down there to the left. Our room is straight across from room number two. Check this out. the rest of the room. So do you want to go in there first before we go upstairs? Yeah, yeah we'll check this whole floor out. So guys, I'm this one will be so I think this is maybe one of the hot spots. And I could have sworn to your guys. There's some doors in here, which is but I was in here doing the EMF readings and uh they started going up about halfway and I looked I'm about hundred percent sure out of corner my eyes seeing a shadow run underneath that door. If there's any spirits in here, feel free to talk into the camera. Don't be shy. We're not here to hurt you. See, I, mean, like, I wonder if these were actually apartments, too. It was the... Oh, the, the one yeah. people up there. Sometimes we've got a deep monk over here in voices just because the one people in the room made. So. And it's weird because this hotel actually lets you have hotels, yeah. rooms, but... The people aren't actually here all night with you. So this one room, you guys, um, like the office closet is just where I think they keep the stuff. For like your rooms and stuff like that. You know, your shit paper. All that kind of good stuff. So. And then you got this little creepy stuff. You guys, you can tell that they're trying to fix up the place. You just gotta give it to them. I mean, it's over. That's a lot of work, a lot of rooms. Especially a room like this. Um, upstairs on the third floor, you guys. You just have to go check them up and zoom in. Do you actually? They, they, they had a roof leak. You can tell where a couple spots came down, so it is a little messed up up there. It smells like shit, but we're still gonna go up there. Do you want to actually bring some equipment upstairs before we even go up there? So if you guys do say something. You guys know what to do. Oh, tight fit. That was a tight fit. I'll take them upstairs, show them the real scariness. 
had a, we did a tour earlier of it, and we were getting really weird vibes. And now that it's like kind of close to Do you get the EMF detector bit? Okay. We'll start with we'll, we'll start with that. Turn that on as you're going up the stairs right now. So we can see if the spikes at all. Guys, this is the anything up here can you comment to the device and make it go to red or yellow if there's anything up here you feel free to come up to our devices in our hands even this camera and try to put your energy and talk to it. tell us who you are look at that guys Yeah, they got all, all we can go in is this hallway right here because all these rooms are locked. But I kind of did a little peek over there, and they're actually they're still made into a, the apartments that they made them into a while ago. If there's anything up here, can you please come up to the device? And make it go to yellow. And it's so weird because you come up here, it's like a totally different world. It's a yeah. Yeah. Like right in front of us. Oh, that way. That's like that way. It's like a thump. I'm like sweating. Try not to put on the camera just because it's pretty bad. Oh, that car gave me a heart attack. Look at it, it's going up like crazy. Yeah, like right here. And this is where, this is where I got that bad feeling right here too, right around this corner. Look at this, guys. I came up this corner, up to, because there's stairs right here. Came up there, looked around, and that's the first thing I see that's standing there. Can you bring it to red? Oh, that ball scared me. Can you make it go up to red? If something's up here, don't be shy. I just want to talk to you. Old 
supposed to be blood blood splots or what keep out what it says keep out yeah you got nothing no nothing what it was a spike up wasn't it oh my god there we go if there's something up here make that those light it up there you go can you make it go to red Can you put your energy into it and make it go to red? I see you didn't want to talk, or she. That's what I said. I, I think whatever's in this place. It's like playing hide and seek. It, it's almost, it, oh yeah, it, it almost wants to play hide and seek. Can you move something to show that you're here? We're not here to hurt you. Can you move something just so we know you're here? Or touch the EMF detector and make it go to red? We already know you're here. So you might as well stop hiding. We're not here oh, to harm you. Yeah. There you go. Can you go to red? Can you go to red? Hello, show us your power. Getting there. Almost ready. It's trying, you can tell. So, you want to keep this on and then bring the spirit box out? Yeah. Hey guys, we're going to go get the rest of our uh, equipment. And uh, once we do that, we're going to come back up here. We're going to set everything up. We're probably even going to set up a camera downstairs while we're up here. And that way, in case anything happens down there, we can catch it this time. So, uh, we will be continuing. Hey guys, we're back up here on the third floor. We got all of our equipment. We also got a camera downstairs set up on night vision on the first floor to see if we catch anything while we're up here. But uh, right now, we're going to start with the blindfold method. Your girl, Brandlin, she's going to do it. <laughs> Us, we forgot the blindfold on the kitchen table at the house, so she's gonna have to just close her eyes. So, uh, what's gonna happen for you newbies is she's gonna be connected with some headphones to the spirit box, and I'm going to be asking her random questions, and we're gonna see if we can get any good responses out of them. So, uh, let's see what we got. You ready? Did you explain the light? Oh, and also. We got the light set up with all those green little dots. And what that's for is if we see happen to see any kind of movement in front of it, it will show a shadow. So hopefully we catch something. That'd be pretty tits. You ready? Alright. Give me a thumbs up when you're ready. I'll start asking questions. Guys, look how creepy it looks up here, man. Just, man, I'm like, totally bad by it. I gotta see. Hold on. It's no creepier than that. you guys will see something that we'll miss so it's always good having extra eyes like before 
watching some of our, a couple of our videos, especially in that jailhouse, we actually had uh, a woman's voice come across the camera without even a spirit box or nothing. Did you hear that? Something just moved. Something, something, something like something just moved from the side. Is there any spirits up here that would like to communicate? You can come up to this box that Brandlin is holding and you can talk through that. Do you got a name? How old are you? I already know you are here. Who are you? My name is Steve. Movement. Yep, I just moved. Could you tell me your name? I told you mine. Do you have a name? Can you repeat my name? Can you say Steve? Guys, I'm here. Footsteps up here. So she's. I have try to put it on a different setting right now. I just heard something move over here. That is so crazy. Is there any Hello. Hello. How are you? We're upset. What are you upset about? Are you upset that we're here? Are you angry that we're here? Alone. You want to be alone? Or you feel alone? My child. What about your child? Did something happen? Did something happen to your child? Such a bad vibe up here, it's unreal. Are you still there? Guys, we're going to give her about, I don't know, another maybe five minutes. If she lasts that long. I mean, because technically they say you're supposed to go over like ten minutes or something like that on it. So, because uh, I guess bad stuff could happen, so... About all of them. Seems like she's getting, we're getting some kind of responses. It just said my name. So you can, you know, so you can say my name? Could you tell me your name? Since you know mine? Like me. What, what do you mean, like you? How can I like you if I don't even know you? You won't even tell me your name. What? What? I don't know, like I feel like 
and something touched me. I did. What, something touched you? You know, it's crazy. I, I thought I heard something too right before you did that. I'm not really getting much. A couple things. It said my name. Yeah, it said your name earlier. Yeah. That's like that's crazy because I asked it to. I asked it to say my name. Like I said it for a second, and I'm like thinking, I'm like, did it really say that? Because I asked it to say my name. Did you really? Yeah. I I said, uh, can you can you say my name, Steve? Yeah. I heard a couple like when you're in there, a couple footsteps and stuff. But it sounded like something moved over here. Did the EMF detector go off? Oh, you know what? I didn't even start it. Hey guys, I'm gonna try on CMF detector because we're we're getting some pretty bad vibes, and she thinks something touched her. So. I don't know. It was like a poke or whatever in the back of my back. Stand up so we can, I can look. Oh, you do got a little red mark there. Yeah, uh, really? yeah just a smudge right here. Right there. I, I don't know if the camera can see it or not because of the black and white. Yeah, I think you can see it. Yeah, she's got a little red mark, guys. She said it felt like something poked her or something. Yeah, it's fucking weird. here, can you make show that you're here? Maybe go through the lights? I would try turning the If you're strong enough to that. if you're strong enough to touch her, you should be strong enough to show yourself. Come on. Can you move something? Can you come up to that device in Steven's hand? If you go in front of it, it will go off and show that you're standing in front of us. Are you the one that poked me? You can also talk into the camera. We'll understand you. You don't have to be scared. You can come out. We're not going to hurt you. Just want to hear your story. on these green lights and see if we're going to see something for a while. We'll some questions and stuff. Lights out, baby. Actually, looks pretty dope. Can you walk through the lights and show that you're here? What you'll do is pretty much interrupt the light like this. Can you do that? Can you give us a movement? Nothing's going to happen to you if you walk through it. Come on. Hey, if you can poke her, come up and poke me. You tap back on the door if you're in here like that 
Did you used to live in these when it was running as an apartment? All right, we're going to give you a couple more seconds, and then we're going to click the like button. Go. Here's your chance. Let me get out of there first. <laughs> couple more seconds. Come on, show us. Your, show yourself. You can touch Steven if you want. That's what I said. They can poke you, but now that here's a chance to poke me. Come with us if you want. You guys, I think this is uh, how you get up to the clock tower or the attic of this place. I wish I had Man, I'm, I'm gonna have to talk to the lady, you guys, and see if she'll actually let us come back here and do a whole building paranormal and actually unlock all the doors of this place. So, if you guys think you guys would like to see a video of that, comment down below. Let us know what you think and give us about at least 10,000 likes on this video and we'll come back and we'll make her happen. That includes going down in the basement. here to hurt you I promise there we go I see in a little bit come up to the EMF detector and we can show that you're here so it's the power we just want to see that you're here that's all <laughs> can you come up to it don't be shy For a second, yeah. Yeah, I seen it move, maybe it jumped. That's what I'm saying, in certain spots. No, it's like it's hiding. Because, like, literally, we went out by the doors, and, like, some of them were, like, going off, and then now it's just, like, we're not getting nothing. Yeah. Like, literally. Hey, you guys, tell me if you see anything. I'm not, like, I'm not, I haven't looked in this one. If you can even see, geez. It's got a foggy window. I might, might not be able to see anything. Can you come up to the EMF detector and show that you're here? You just go right in front of this device and it'll show that you're in front of me. Dead. Like, disappeared. It, it's a, it, yeah, that's why I said it. It's whatever's here, it, 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 it almost like it, it plays with you. I can see. But like you'll come in, feel a feeling, and then you go back to that same spot, won't feel something. What was that? I think I stepped on the Okay. 
He bumped that one. Yeah, that's nothing. Jack and Brown was over there scaring herself, guys. I'm going to keep this running, though. We're going to go back downstairs and go grab the other camera. Yeah. And then we'll set it up here before we go down there and maybe do a couple readings in our room and see if anything's there. Yep, yep. So we're going to get this uh, other stuff set up and then uh, to be continued. Alright guys, hopefully we caused something down here why this was wrong. I'm gonna just uh, reset the recorder in this little area right here. So hopefully we caught something. Hopefully something said something in this recorder. I'm gonna give it a couple more seconds before I take it. Brainland's upstairs in the bedroom still getting the room ready for us to do our uh, blindfold test on me. Um, so hopefully we get some good responses on that. If anything's uh, in this area with me, if you would come up to this device here, this recorder, and say something, I'd greatly appreciate it. You don't have to be scared. This, this is your, almost your last chance. Tell me something. Tell me something about your life. Tell me, did you live in this building? Tell me your age. Tell me your name. Tell me something. Should be only a couple more minutes, and we'll get this video started back up. It's almost to the point where we're going to be doing our sleepover. It's uh, got to be almost man 2:30 or something like that, and we already made a pact that we're going to try to lay down around three and see if we can catch anything when we're sleeping. So we are going to set up a camera, and this battery's almost dead. But uh, see you guys in a bit. Peace. All right, you guys, this is the room we're currently staying in, which is room number two. There's a um, tour of the room, old-fashioned curtains, and Stephen. And then there is about five mirrors in here. One. Look at that fireplace along there. Yeah, it's really old, Look too. Old and green carpet. It says 1918. Green carpet. <clears throat> and then and trash can. Except for a little dinky little thing. That we're not out. kidding either. We literally, we literally put it like a two liter of pop in there. That's it. We had to use the bag for our garbage. <laughs> and then old antique um, lamps. And the table. And our bed is actually pretty cozy. There's another mirror. And then a nice fashion tablecloth. Another mirror. And then inside the lovely bathroom. The shower is pretty old too. Stand up shower. Old school shower. Wait, I said there was five mirrors. So there's one, two, three, four. Four. Am I? Yeah, I thought there was five. And then in here is a nice cozy little closet. So what we're going to do is we are going to do um, lights out. We're going to see if we can get any connection, see if there's anything in this room. Um, we're going to let Steven do the blindfold method without the blindfold, obviously, because we forgot that. So we're going to close this. Long ass curtains. I don't even know if we even... Oh, right here. Really tall. Yeah, it's like high. 
Shut. Mess. Make sure. Oh, do you thanks? Close. And then we're going to turn the light off. Turn you guys into that one. Night mode. All right, Steven, you ready? We are using the blindfold method and we're using the EMF detector. They also came with a lovely chest piece. We're going to see if they can move a piece. And then I am going to actually, where is the light? Over here. The light into the closet. Actually, over there, and then turn on the recorder. L. there's anything in this room, you can talk to Steven and he will let you, he will let us know what you're saying. Was this your room you stayed in? You there? Yes. Are you stuck here? Yes. I don't know. It sounded like it said. Did you uh, pass here? What's your name? Right? Can you touch Steven? Home. This is your home? This is where you lived? What year do you Sorry. What year do you think it is? Moment. Why are you lonely? You don't have to be scared. We're not here to hurt you. Can you move one of these chess pieces? Do you want to play a game? Yes. Can you move a piece like that? Not there. What, you don't want my piece there? Can you move the chest piece? It sounds like me too. Me too what? Are you stuck in this room? Can you go in any other room? Can you make anything move? Can no. you 
Why can't you make something move? You can just put your energy into it. Because I want to, I think it said. Sounds just like because I want to. Because you want to what? Can you talk into the camera? <clears throat> Are you a boy or a girl? Sound like it said boy or something. Michael? Can you touch David? Or move anything to indicate that you're here. Can Sorry. You, for what? Can you come up to this EMF detector? It was told me that you're here. No. Why? Bitch. What? I just heard noise. I can't believe you just said that. Did you just fart? <laughs> <laughs> Why do you call me names? I didn't do anything. I just want to know your story. Cause? Cause why? <sighs> you good? Some crazy responses in that thing, man. It was accurate. Very was accurate. accurate. Yeah. Oh, man, guys. I was hearing things um, by the fireplace. I had to stop for a minute because I started sweating real bad. I don't know if it's because the, in the moment or what. Really? Ooh. I think your hearing's better than mine. <laughs> I, I, I was hearing like it was almost like a, 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 I would hear a lady's voice say say something like a sorry, and then I would hear a guy's voice almost like he was trying to say a name or something, but couldn't spit it out. But it almost like sounded like it said Michael once. So I don't know if there's a Michael in here. I don't know. I kept hearing something in the fireplace, and then I thought I heard something over there and thought I seen a figure in the mirror. We'd have to see it once. Right, review review, this review the video, yeah. The EMF detector didn't go off. I tried getting him to move the chest piece, but that wasn't happening. Well, hopefully our uh, people out here watching this video will help us uh I bought some stuff that maybe we'll miss when we're editing it. All right, you guys. So we are going to take a shower. <laughs> I need a shower. And then we are going to record a night session okay. with us sleeping. We're going to set up a camera. Uh, we're going to see what it looks like on night vision, see if that, you know, what one's better. But uh, we're going to set it up where uh, hopefully – something happens i mean not, not not saying that we want something you know you'd be running out that door sleeping, but <laughs> you know yeah it would be it would be pretty hard to sit here and sleep in a room especially if something say yanks your covers off you or something you know when you're sleeping same time that'd be cool like upstairs on on the floor up, up you know on three she already got poked has a mark which we do got to review that make sure yeah. that uh camera got it on there but uh 
anyways, guys, we're going to end it for now. Um, and then pick right back up. And pick right back up. Bye. Peace.